this week on Ultimate Outdoor Adventures TV. Hey everybody, welcome to another show. This week we're headed down to Wyoming on one of our favorite hunts of the year, and that's chasing antelope with our rifles. Now one of the main reasons we love doing this so much is because you get to do it all day long. You don't just get up in the morning and hunt for a few hours or a few hours in the evening. You're basically driving and looking and spotting and stalking all day long for an antelope. And that's the way it ended up this year once again. We spent a lot of time in the truck, out of the truck, we would do some stalks, you'd have to back up. Um, the land is not real conducive to spot and stalk antelope hunting. So there's a lot of times that you go after one and you end up backtracking and starting all over again. So this week, we're down in Wyoming trying to get it done with our rifles. just got started here. Like I said earlier, the snow quit. We seen some good antelope behind us, but we got a, a pretty decent buck here. We're just trying to get a better look at them. Um, I don't know that I've seen this one before. Um, trying to get a better look at him. And he's making it difficult. But uh, we're gonna try and get up here and get around him, get a better look at him before we make a move if we do cold out 21 degrees again windy and the snow just let up so hopefully we see some critters on their feet well as you saw when jw and kurt went down to wyoming the weather was terrible it was october i think the second week of october and they had pretty much a snowstorm. So between the terrible conditions traveling, the terrible conditions trying to spot antelope, Kurt and Jason ended up not shooting anything. But they did get a lot of recon done. They saw a lot of good antelope. Um, they kind of had their idea and what their mind was set on when we headed back down. So we headed back down the next weekend. The weather was completely different. It was 60 degrees and sunny, and we had a heck of a hunt. We, uh... We spotted a goat back here a ways, um, trying to figure out what to do here. The, as antelope hunters, I mean, it's flat out here. It's, it's fairly breezy. Um, we're going to try and game plan here. We're probably going to backtrack a little ways, see if we can find a better vantage point, but it's so flat getting to them. We just got to look for any break in the terrain to get it into our advantage here so we can get close enough to film and, you know, do our thing here. So. We're going to backtrack a little bit. I'm going to get the gun ready to go. I think we're going to put the plan in order here and again backtrack and see if we can get a better vantage point on them.
security sauce. She ain't gonna come in here no more. Well, we got, uh, I don't know, we kind of botched our first stock. The terrain they're in is terrible. We got within 250. It just, till he gave me a shot between Jason and I communicating, it just wasn't long enough to do anything good with it. So we backed out, we had another opportunity at 300. And again, he just gave us a, a quick glimpse and we're not gonna do that. So, um... They knew we were here and they kind of boogered out to about 350 and 375 and 400 and it's getting dark. And we just decided to let it go. Well, we basically spent the first day and a half chasing two different antelope for Kurt. Now, the one we had our heart set on, we ended up spotting stalking him several different times and we failed on all attempts. And then he just disappeared. So we ended up heading down to the southern part of the ranch and finding another beautiful antelope. Now, one of the great things about antelope is they seem to give you a second chance. And that's what it took for us because now we we're on the different antelope. We tried several times in different terrains to try to get in with shooting distance and we couldn't do it. But things finally lined up and we were able to get within a couple hundred yards. We got done. We messed up on this herd a long time ago. We've been on it for hours, but we kind of, a couple does kind of messed it up for us. So we left them alone, they're settling down. We left, we came back there a few hundred yards from this fence line up here. So we're gonna crawl up there and see what we can do. Um, there's a lot of eyes up there, that's the problem right now. I mean, a lot of them. There's probably 25 in the herd. A couple bucks in there, but we know which one we're gonna try and try and kill. But uh, we got about 50 yards to crawl, so we're gonna give her the onion. Yeah. See what we can do. I think if if you go up in the high spot, if I just go about 10 yards, five maybe five yards on the other side of you, it'll work. There's this little low spot I can set up. Then we're, we're gonna have to crawl up to a fence, and I I can see there's some areas we should be able to film there. Hopefully, but. Uh, we're just gonna have to see what happens when we get up there. Yeah. We've done it before all weekend and it's not working for us, so hopefully this works out. Frazier. He did drop, right? Yes, sir. Holy moly.
that is the hardest we've ever had to work for an antelope for two days. Unfortunately, it's not the same antelope, but we've been put to test for two days straight. It's getting to the end of our second day here, but uh, boy, we just have not been able to get close to these critters. We've had some bad luck, antelope crossing our path, blowing them out, um, just close. 300 yard shot, 300 yard shot, they'd be walking out 350, 375, 400. Just not comfortable for filming whatever we're doing. But uh, that herd's still sitting there. We, we've been on this herd, I'm gonna say for about five hours today. And we messed up one time, the, the do, uh, two or three does messed it up for us. And we left them alone, they settled down. We belly crawled here with the vehicles back a quarter mile and we made her happen. We've been grinding and grinding. It's not supposed to be this hard, but it was. We are, I don't know that he was as far as I thought he was, to be honest with you. Um, he kind of pinned himself into a corner. Um, we got a property line to the south over here running east and west. We got another property line running right here north and south. I thought he was out further than he was, but he was actually moving closer. I'm looking from where I shot. I'm not sure he was 200 yards. I'm going to say he's only about 175 yards. Yeah, uh, very cool, very cool. He's got some extra junk here on the inside. Right in the cactus. Pretty awesome buck, actually. Very awesome. We, uh, like I mentioned earlier back there, uh, we were chasing this guy for quite a while. Um, things just weren't working for us these last couple of days. We've just been struggling making things happen, but um, we finally put it together on this one. He's got real high cutters. I don't know if you can see inside here. He's got extra cutter probably a little over an inch on one side and close to another inch on the other side big hard long hooks high prongs mass is good um, beautiful antelope we are out in wyoming chasing these things i think all three of us agree this is some of our favorite table fare some of our favorite animals to hunt one of the most beautiful animals out here it is so cool because you can hunt these critters all day long Taxidermy services provided by Dakota Taxidermy, capturing the spirit.